Hello everyone, Terry Lynn Reese from TLR Coaching and Consulting. Welcome to Tips, Tricks and Trends. Special, special thank you to Standard Liquor for partnering up with TLR Coaching and Consulting and sponsoring this week's Tips, Tricks and Trends. Really excited to be a brand ambassador for a brand who is already so well established and brings in such great brands to their establishment. If you have not been to Standard Liquor, they have a great, great selection of anything that you are into. Jimmy. Terry, all of their great staff, they treat you like family. 829 Eddy Street, check them out. Today what we want to focus on is a line called Plume and Petal. Really excited to bring this to you guys. This is actually Bacardi's Try It Vodka. They went pretty hard when they first released this in the beginning of August, but the way they marketed it was specifically towards women. Let me tell you why. Um, it's a little sweeter. It is 83 calories if you mix it with a seltzer water and call it a spritz. Um, if you add other stuff, of course, it's going to add some other calories. And it is also a low ABV vodka, which is a low alcohol by volume. It's 20%. Most of the vodkas you find out there on the line are going to be about 40%. This one is at 20. They got the flavors right, though, guys. I love it. Really nice flavors for the summer. They did three expressions. First one. I want to show you guys it's called peach wave bottles are really really pretty too aren't they again it's called plume and petal this one is their peach wave it is of course got a peach flavor nice fresh peach smell when you open up the cork on that bottle but this one is infused with lavender and black tea really brings out the nice smooth flavor in that this one is the cucumber splash probably my favorite I like anything infused with cucumber really 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 crisp and nice this one is again cucumber nice fresh cucumber smell when you open it up but they infuse this one with lemongrass and a chamomile tea which is nice as well not usually a lemon fan or lemon flavored anything fan but this one is called lemon drift and what they did with this one is they added elderflower to the lemon which brings a nice floral taste to it all of these are sweetened with, a, with just a little bit of honey, so no added sugars to it. So again, 20% alcohol, 83 calories, nice, fresh sum, uh, summer flavors. Not really sure why they tried to do the let's market towards women thing again, because I think this is really nice for everybody. They got in a little trouble with that marketing thing. They actually had to apologize to some of these women out here, but I get it, Bacardi. I completely get it. This is made by their senior female distiller her name is Shelly Menza congratulations and shout out to all the female distillers out there I think that's really what they were trying to push that it was just a nice light refreshing lower ABV vodka with some nice flavors that was made by one of their one of the best distillers that they have and she just happens to be female but I want to focus on some of the recipes that they had on the website plumeandpetal.com again it's a Bacardi brand but they do have their own website plumeandpetal.com the first one I want to show you is called just peachy and really that's just it it's a nice simple drink brings that nice peach flavor out in the peach wave I'm going to start off with that one for you. Stick it in with ice. Simple Collins glass. Fill that up with ice. And actually, I think what I want to do, lost some ice there, but I think what I want to do is I want to mix this one. I'm going to put that one in my mixing tin. Two parts of the peach wave. So about two ounces there. I like to measure, guys. Makes a nice, consistent drink when you do it that way. So that's the two parts on the peach wave. And then it also calls for half parts lemon. I'm going to take some nice fresh squeezed lemon juice. For me, I'm going to get one more. Always want to use fresh juice, guys. So much cheaper. Really brings the flavors out in the drinks. And then what I'm going to do and add to this one as well is a little bit of honey. Just some local honey. About a half a teaspoon there. And remember, this is not warm, so when you shake this up, you want to shake it really, really hard. Let's cover that. Shake that up really good. Again, you want to mix that honey up really good. It's going to be thick. Get it nice and cool. Put that ice down in there. Put that up. 
The recipe on the website called for a couple dashes of bitters. I thought I was gonna make it a little too bitter, so I took that one out of my recipe. I'm just gonna add a little sensor. Just some soda water to the top there. Again, guys, be careful. You know, the carbonation is going to definitely push the liquor through your bloodstream quicker. I'm gonna add a nice little lemon wedge to that. And that is just peachy. Really, really nice there. Put that right next to the bottle so you know that that's the one that we made it with. Next one I'm gonna make, I think this is a nice brunch drink, Saturday, Sunday brunch. It's called a Garden Mary instead of a Bloody Mary. Cause what we're gonna use is we're gonna use the cucumber splash. Make a nice, nice Bloody Mary. I'm just gonna use a little wine glass with no stem. I'm gonna fill that up to the top. I'm gonna build this one. Do not shake it. I don't like to shake the Bloody Marys. Fill that up with some ice there. Again, two parts on the cucumber splash. Nice, fresh cucumber smell. They really did get the flavors right on these guys. Oh, went a little over on that one. Messy bartender. two parts of the cucumber splash and then I'm just gonna use some regular plain tomato juice you can use a Bloody Mary mix if you want to make sure you always shake the mixers guys Bloody Mary mix if you want to but I'm gonna add some other things to it you notice I didn't fill that up we're gonna make this a nice fun fun Bloody Mary I've got a whole bunch of stuff here Boom. we lost one got some fresh sliced cucumbers here I'm just gonna pick those together. Throw that right in there. Olives, I love olives. Can never have too many of those. Celery, gotta have some greenery, right? Throw some of that in there. Oh, I'm losing my cucumbers. Throw that right on top, and then I think I'm gonna throw a little salt and pepper on top. Then one of my favorite things to add to a Bloody Mary, shrimp cocktail. Add that right to the end. Doesn't that look delicious? Oh, I want some now. Let's try that. You can make it spicy, add some Tabasco, Worcestershire, whatever you poison. Oh, really nice with your brunch. The cucumber flavor is just so nice. It's just really, really different. If you like that little bit of sweetness, the tea that they infuse in this is really, really, really nice. I like it a lot. It really, really smooths the vodka out. Now on the lemon drift, I just made, came up with a little recipe today. Let's clean that up a little bit. Just something light. I really liked the lemon flavor a lot on this one. That elderflower that they put into it was just really, really nice. I thought it was coming out. I'm just gonna add this right to the glass. I'm gonna do this one in a nice tall wine glass. Again, we're gonna do two parts on the lemon. Nice fresh lemon scent. Let me open that up. This one, I'm gonna add a little bit of rosemary. It's so nice. Break that. Kind of pat it a little bit the rosemary out and then what i'm going to add to this polar seltzer makes a seltzer called unicorn kisses i think it tastes like bubble gum what else would unicorn kisses taste like but i'm going to add this to the lemon i think i'm going to add a nice little fresh squeeze of lime to the top drop that in lemon wheel. Isn't that pretty? The lemon is super effervescent. Oh, so, so nice, guys. Plume and Petal, again, made by Bacardi. You can check it out at Standard Liquors at 829 Eddy Street. These drinks are so great for the summertime. It's really hot right now on a nice humid day. Nice cookout that you're having brunch on the Bloody Mary. Make it a meal. Pair the dog. Bloody Mary's always really, really, really good with the hangover thing. 
I, I highly suggest this brand, guys. It's really, really nice. I, I'm, I'm loving all the flavors even coming together right now. Perfect for the summer. Plume and Petal, thank you so much for checking out Tips, Tricks, and Trends. Go see Standard Liquor. We'll see you again next week. Cheers.